Today, Precarious plays The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. So it turns out the carpenters are blocking the path. I guess there isn't as much to explore as we thought. We're just going to go straight to Hyrule Castle Town right now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here we go. It's a cat! Oh, and, and a man in a hat! Yeah, I was gonna say. Come one, come all! See how many kinstone pieces you can collect! Okay. You never know what using kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good! Okay. Come on up and get your free kinstone bag! We're holding your kinstone pieces! Are these rings? I bet they're rings. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity! Yes, yes, you're here for your free Kenstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. Awesome! Cool. Hey, it's the Snot Kid! Oh my god, there's <laughs> always- he's always there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I kind of got a box Aww. in here. Fitting two Kenstone pieces together is called Kenstone Fusion. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. Okay. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Use the D-pad to choose a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all that? I think so. Then stand in front of me and press L so we can fuse kinstones! This guy's a creep, isn't he? <laughs> and the, the kids have us blocked in, so we have to do this part. That's peculiar. Uh, I did? No, I didn't. Yes, that. Yeah. <laughs> We're too excited to be fusing my kinstones. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. Press L. Then you can see the kinstone screen. Oh boy! Oink and the hurdy gurdy man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that sounds like such a kid's fairy tale. <laughs> Oink <laughs> and the hurdy gurdy man. <laughs> but it have to be like the hurdy gurdy man's uh, well girded music box. Mm -hmm. Two kinston pieces fit fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Yeah. And oh, I know where that is. Cool. Oh, we have to remember to go back there. It probably has shells in it. Hmm. Four more in stone pieces. A perfect fit. That means you're both due for a little happiness. See ya. Poof. No, just kidding. I want to go talk to the cat. Let me walk. <laughs> I have important converse, con conversing. Meow. Yes. <laughs> ah. Meow. 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 Okay. Uh, let's go see what's in that cave. Okay. First, actually, open your map. I'm going to see if they mark it on the map. South Hyrule Town? South Hyrule Fields? Okay. Yeah, they do. That's good. We should still go see what's in it. Like right now? Yeah. Okay. I thought... So, uh, one of the interesting things about Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, it had a very, very light, just this tiny little sprinkling of uh, an RPG mechanic. Mm hmm You had a... A limited number of rings that you could equip. And they would modify Link. Oh, oh, cool. Much better than shells. <laughs> yeah. Um, you had... You had a limited number of rings that you could have on your person at once to gain bonuses. Mm-hmm. And some of them were a little... Occasionally they could be, like, a little boring. Um... Sometimes they were just really strong. Like there was a just a ring that cuts your oh, like <laughs> a ring that cuts the damage you take, that kind of stuff. Some of them were a little more interesting. Like I think that there was one that increased the 
the acceptable range of uh, your current health to fire blade beams. Like, you don't have to be at absolutely full health. You can be, like, down a heart or down two hearts. That kind of thing. Uh, and then I think there were some fun ones that would just, like, swap your sprite out for a different character, things like that. Mm. Weird, eclectic bonuses. Re really disparate stuff, you know? Um, and I, th I was hoping, I was kind of hoping that this was going to be a second crack at that system. That's, I, don't, I don't like that word. Something about it doesn't seem kosher. Did I scare you? Okay. If, if that's not a slur, it probably should be. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go around and talk to everybody and go in everyone's yeah, house. She seems nice. I was, to gonna, her. I was gonna um, start from this corner and um, then go. Like, you gotta start somewhere. And this yeah. is this one has a peep on the roof. Can you go in the door? Okay. Yeah. If this is Zelda, you're allowed to go in anybody's house all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. Even when they're pooping. <laughs> Especially when they're pooping. This is a dojo. Yeah. I am Swiftblade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? No. Please. Sure. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. Yay! First, press and hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Release your destructive might! That's all, young swordsman! Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir. Haha, -ha, very good. You are a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body uh -oh. so as to demonstrate the technique. Wait a minute. Teach I me that technique. I didn't sign a waiver for this. <laughs> I call, I call this the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Po ze shun. Okay. Now you must try it yourself. Press and hold your sword button, build up enough power, then release your destructive might. That's all there is to it. I feel uncomfortable now. Go for it. Nope. More destructive might. Bam. Yes! Fine work. You're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. Why? That is so, <laughs> sounds so unrelated. <laughs> if you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it any time from the quest status screen. Cool. Oh. Oh, so I'm guessing there are more? Yeah. I wonder if he teaches blade beams. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Let's uh, step outside yeah. and then come back in. Maybe we'll get another one. Wait a minute. Nope. No. I just, I'm worried about that peep on the roof, man. I was wondering, like, why, why you didn't start with that, you know? Oh, good, 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 good. Bye, mailman. So fast always in every game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So it's tied to the sword we have. Neat. Fine. I like him. I mean, he's no shark-pushing old man, but... Yeah, that is so weird. Hey. hey. I love it when I miss speaking to someone and I do a <laughs> cartwheel instead. Yeah. Or a front flip. Now that was a real centennial celebration. That festival was the best ever. There was even a villain that was unleashed. Yeah, this was a terrible festival. Stop! <sighs> uh, go the other direction. This is the only way I can keep up with him. No, 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 just wait on the bridge. And then he's going counterclockwise. You just slowly walk clockwise on the path that you've seen him, seen him go. You know? Yeah. I think he went this way. I think I saw him come down the way. middle of the street, though. Well, I did see him do that once. One time he came down the middle of the street and ran out, and then another time he ran over the bridge and disappeared. 
Maybe we're not meant to speak to such people. <laughs> They're too professional and too busy. <laughs> the town is quiet enough, but past the gates there are monsters everywhere. You should visit Stockwell's shop and get outfitted before you go out there. Okay. Where is that? <laughs> um, that one has green on the top. Why don't you go in the green on the top shop? Because I haven't been in this building yet. Ooh, that one's got a coffee. Ooh, you can tell just from the the this side that she's the looker. Yes. Ooh, is he hair flip. Little, the hair swipe. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm a laid-back, easy-going kind of guy, not a care in the world. And that's just the way I like it. This feels like... Oh, so you can do... You can use... Um... Oh! Oh. Um, <laughs> that's a good question, as the... This feels like the beginning of a noir... Um... Detective... Scenario. Mm-hmm. I walked into the milk bar, and there she was! Legs for a solid 15 pixels. Oh! <laughs> we hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. I love her hair. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even her... Like, she is, like, 90% hair. Like, 90% of her attraction points are coming from that glossy mane. Let me tell you something that might come in handy someday. You can move bookcases and stuff. Try to push and pull different things. Thanks, Green. After all, you're young. You should be all. You should be trying all kinds of new things. Ah. Okay. <laughs> like milk. Cheers! Yay! Cheers! Raise your milk for a toast. I wonder what I should have for dinner. Yeah, these people just say whatever's on their mind, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, do you want to poke around the shops between episodes? Yeah, I don't or? think that this is... I mean, we can come back if something... Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> if something really precious happens. Um, that being a, an example of what is not precious. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. No, we can't go in here without the recording device on. Uh, okay. I was joking about what if something precious happens, but this is it. Mm -hmm. 